Hi, and welcome to the Theatre Show in conjunction with Stage Whispers magazine. I'm here at the Lyric Theatre in Sydney for the opening of the musical Annie. We're going to be talking to some of the cast and crew and the producer of this fantastic musical production. So sit back, relax and enjoy. You'll stay up until this song shines like the top of the Christ. This production is, it's a, it's a gentler production, but it's actually steamier, I think. There's, there, we've got new orchestras, some, well, 60% of the, of the orchestra has been uh, revamped by Peter Casey, beautifully done. Ella, who's our, our Annie, one of our Annies, is absolutely glorious. She looks perfect for the role. How does it feel when you're in the orphanage? You kind of just feel... Sad, I guess, because it's all dark and grey. Santa Claus, we never see. Santa Claus, what's that? Who's he? No one cares for you. A stitch when you're in an orphanage. It's a hard of life. He's history. He's history. That's where. Todd McKenney, great to see you singing and dancing again. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it feels fantastic. And we just saw Easy Street. Tell us a little bit about that piece. Well, it's a trio with myself and Chloe Dallimore, who plays Lily, and Nancy Hayes, who plays Miss Hannigan. So it's three old hoofers, really, out there doing what they do, and they're celebrating the fact that they're going to steal Annie from Daddy Warbucks and make a $50,000 reward, split it three ways, and go and live on an island in the Bahamas. Maybe she holds the key, that little lady. To get more bucks. Instead of less. <laughs> Maybe we fix the game with something shady. Where does that put us? Oh, tell her. Give you one guess. Yes! This Costumes were designed by uh, Christian Fredrickson. When we open the show, it, it's all very black and white because it's set in the depression and the colour and the vivacity of the costumes and certainly the sets it doesn't really happen until you come into this set here in Daddy Warbucks's mansion. On Farley and Perkins, on Ickes and Wallace, on Morgan and Cummings, in a world which is often dominated, particularly today, by negativism, suddenly there's a little girl who has every reason to be negative and optimistic. She's been punished and badly treated in an orphanage. She finds out she's lost her parents. It doesn't matter. She's not really interested in the trappings of Warbuck's home and all that glamour. She just is a happy little girl who rides over all adversity and all difficulty, telling us to look forward to tomorrow. And I think that is a theme which I, and all the audience, I think, embraces. Well, you've seen it, you've heard it. It's a stellar cast, wonderful musical, best value in town. So come along and see the musical Annie. I'm Cheryl Ann and I'll see you at the theatre.